good morning tau overflows fear awakens your soul remember one who is soul is weak is afraid of the body if the body is stronger and soul is weaker then there will be a problem body is the chariot which is yoked by horses horses of desire horses of all these things that are related to these so the body is weaker the chariot is weak but horses are stronger your desires your longings your aspirations they are strong certainly the chariot will fall into a hole man will be afraid if the chariot is strong the chariot is strong and he very wisely holds the rein in his hand then only you feel the benefit of the strength of the horses horses are very strong all kind of desires that arise in human mind if the body is strong the chariot your consciousness is strong then you can hold the reins in your hand and drive it look at the bicycle rider the bicycle have two wheels the front and the back front wheel propels the back wheel but both are connected to a pedal the pedal has to be pedaled by your feet but the reins are in your hand the handle where it has brakes it works like axle works like a steering wheel it is steers but who guides this steering your awareness so in the same way your body is the chariot which is yoked to wheels and in life male and female are two wheels they propel one another between them there are desires that needs to be fulfilled for attaining to a state of bliss if the desires are strong and the one that propels that holds the rein that is your consciousness how to involve in act of sex or anything if it is controlled by higher consciousness then life has a meaning krishna is not in favor of weakening the horses he is in favor of strengthening your soul your beingness that attains strength energy through breathing through your conscious effort how does a soul become is strong krishna says one who is heart innerness is pure then that gives the energy to your soul for instance between husband and wife between spouses there is purity purity of understanding purity of love purity of awareness they engaged in these activities with in a meditative way 
then you will feel a kind of inner strength within you you do not know why am i feeling so strong full of energy overflowing energy it is because of the purity of your emotions purity of your feelings purity of your desires all these are aimed at attaining the energy to your innerness and bliss to you one in the same proportion if the innerness your thoughts your emotions your feelings your desires are impure or guided by ulterior motives in the same proportion the soul will get weakened you would realize you would have realized what happens when there is trust purity of emotions desires whatsoever may be and with that meditatively you enter into any act that gives you so much energy and you feel i do not know where do i get the energy from do you think the energy comes from the frugal meals you eat the circumstances and situations were same what has really changed in your life now that is making you overflowing with energy the tiredness is not there as much as it used to be before with the weakness as the soul weakens soul means the space that innerness that attain there is contamination then that brings impurity and the in the proportion the inner contamination the space becomes nascent pure is strong that brings purity as in the proportion your consciousness is purified not guided by any contamination the consciousness when it operates through the level of the mind it becomes impure because thoughts comes in thoughts are of different nature there is no purity of your thoughts your emotions there is no sincerity there is no understanding so the more your consciousness when it is operating through the level of the mind through your emotions through your feelings what you want to do in you as as a relation how do you relate to your spouse to your beloved how pure is your emotions how pure is your understanding that gives tremendous energy to the soul in the realm of being purity is the strength and impurity of your emotions impurity of your thought process impurity of your desires brings weakness these emotions desires they are forces which are yoked to the chariot which is your body that is why you would have observed whenever you are engaging in any act which where the emotions or the thought process is not purified you will find something weakens in you you are engaging out of emotions into a sex relationship and there is purity of your emotions purity of your feeling towards your spouse the soul attains energy else it becomes weakened 
a thought of deceiving this person that I want to go into relationship with this person. The emotions are not pure, it guided by some kind of motives. Then you will notice that there comes an inner weakness. This is what is very important. When, if you think in terms of that you are engaging in this relationship, emotional relationship, not for your own benefit, but to give joy, happiness, blissfulness to the other. This is like you are giving charities. You are giving your energy in charity to the other. Then there comes something becomes stronger, full of energy overflowing. You would have noticed when in your purity of the being, you purity of your emotions, your feelings, you are engaging in the relation or relating to your spouse meditatively, you gain tremendous energy, you feel energized, you feel fulfilled. That kind of fulfillment you have never experienced in life before. This is the criteria. When something, the, you are not asking for something. Instead, your whole intention is to give, to give, to share all that you have. Your emotions, your feelings, your love, all that you have, you are pouring into that person. This is like you are doing a charity in that there comes a tremendous energy. Where there is impurity of emotions, impurity of thoughts, there comes weakness, loss of energy. Where there is purity, purity is synonymous with energy, overflowing energy, blissfulness and joy. This purity and impurity of your emotions is the criteria for your energy level within the body. When you feel that your being is strong within, certainly feel that you are on a journey of purity. These are two connected one another. Krishna says one whose heart, whose emotions, whose feelings are pure, in the same proportion he gets the courage of conviction, he gets energy, he gets over fulfillment and this is the criteria of that how the dependence is impurity. We are dependent on the other for our bliss or happiness. It is a question of interdependence. Both male and female are dependent on one another for their own bliss or joy. Once this understanding comes, you find that the life starts moving in a totally different di dimension, moves into a different dimension. This aspect of dependence is impurity. I will speak in next session. Take care. Mm -hmm.